Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. I have got your October 2020 general read. Um, I'm a few days late getting these out. Um, for some reason, I have been extremely exhausted, have had a lot of headaches. And then also um, this week, my 90 pound Doberman decided that she was going to yeet right out the window. And I live on the second floor. She's fine, I cried for a whole day. Anyway, this is going to be your October reading. Okay, so please remember that time is fluid. They're really time stamped just so kind of as a to bookmark them. Okay, but whenever you see this is when you're meant to. It is not going to resonate with everybody, guys. That's the most important thing to remember about general readings. They are just general readings. Okay, if this is not your story, do not try and make it fit. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check your other chart placements. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, gender um, does not exist in tarot either. It is the energy of the card. It does not matter if it has a male or female on it or if I say he or she. Okay, just take it as it resonates. Okay. Also, my neighbors are working on something, a boat, a motor, a truck, a something. I don't know. It's noisy. I'm just going to go with it because it's beautiful outside and I don't want to close my windows. So, cross watchers, welcome. Let's get started. What I've got is three piles, past, present, future, or potential outcome. Okay. The present pile has um, an additional card here that is messages or advice from spirit. So let's dive in for you. The end of a tough cycle approaches new vitality. And there you are showing up in your reading Capricorn, right? So I think you have struggled with some negativity, some toxicity, some, some, some issues that were difficult, right? A tough cycle, but the end is approaching. And this is the past energy. Although guys, keep in mind, this could be something you've already dealt with, will be dealing, sorry, will be dealing with or are dealing with currently. Okay. We've also got this new vitality card. Guys, this is beautiful. This is beautiful energy. This is, um, if the end of a tough cycle is approaching and this is a number one, right? This is your, this is your restart. Okay. This is new energy coming in, okay? So I think you've gone through a lot or are going through a lot. I think there's some things you needed to free yourself from. And I also really, really strongly, strongly feel like um, you had a lot of self-doubt, okay? So let's see what this present energy is, okay? We have a personal issue reaches resolution. Perfect. Teach. We've got the... Um, is this the queen? Queen, yes. It's weird because I couldn't tell. Anyway, queen of swords, and we also have panther spirit, reclaim your power. Okay, so that panther spirit, um, I want to get a little easel for it, but that panther spirit, reclaim your power, that is the universe just telling you to whatever has happened in the past, whatever you've gone through, whatever was bad, whatever was tough, okay, it's time to let it go. And don't let that make or break you, okay? In fact, let it make you. Reclaim your power. Don't let that take your power away. Don't let that be something that was... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking for these little easels while I talk. Um, don't let the past be something that completely defeats you. Come out bigger, better, badder, stronger, more, okay? That's what I want you to know. There's my little easel. Isn't it just cute? So we're going to put that right there. That is your advice from spirit. All right. So here, this, we've got this teach. This is almost like the, um, it feels a lot to me like the Hierophant card. Um, but I do, I feel like with this Queen of Swords, she doesn't take any shit. This is, you know, she stands in her power. So let's see what um, the potential outcome is. Surrender to the divine. Just breathe. And the Ace of Cups. For some reason, I feel like I have been getting... Similar cards and similar placements for a lot of people. But you do have a brand new beginning coming, okay? Um, and the universe wants you to just breathe because it's okay. Don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Just give it to them. Kind of let go and let God, okay, with that Ace of Cups energy. So let's see what we can find out about this past energy, this um, Capricorn devil card, right? Um, the end of a tough cycle approaches and new vitality. Well, you know what? I didn't even see this. Look at this. This is a full moon and Capricorn card. So I, if this isn't your reading, I mean, this is your reading. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Let's 
see what we can find out. So you've had um, a lot of a lot of negativity or toxicity or something you felt really bound and stuck to, right? Something um, that was really hard for you that you didn't think was ever going to end. Um, but I think that you are coming out of that or will be or already have. And I think that um, you are feeling this release, okay? And I think you've learned a lot of lessons. Let's see what popped out. The Knight of Cups. I think you've learned a lot of lessons. I think this has really brought you, um, I think kind of, it's brought you full cycle or full, full, full circle. And I don't know why I want to say that, but that's how I feel. So let's see what else we got here. Oh my goodness. Stuff is going everywhere. So we've got the King of Cups, the Hierophant. The Empress. Let's see if anything else pops out. Okay, we're gonna get two more. We've got the Ten of Swords on the bottom, right? So there's the end of that tough cycle. Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. All right, guys. So what I'm seeing for you here is I feel like. I feel like you have, um, you're feeling a little unsteady, right? I think you've learned some things about self-love and you're ready to, to kind of like venture out into the world again. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a water sign. Um, King of Cups here is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Knight of Cups, I believe is Pisces, but could be any water sign. It doesn't have to be. This could just be your energy. But I, I also feel like... Um, I really think that um, this is just you coming out of all of this feeling kind of haggard, you know, like where, you know, your energy in the past was kind of this king energy and this whole cycle just kind of knocked you down. You're still going forward. You're still moving forward. You're moving back towards who you really are, right? But you learned a lot about yourself. You've got a little bit more self-love. You just feel a little beaten down, okay? And I feel like you almost feel oppressed, in some way, oppressed by the system, oppressed by an institution. Um, this hierophant can be um, any kind of like formal institution. It can be the church. It can be the legal system. It can be the education system. It can be a, a, a marriage, like anything that is formal, traditional. Um, I, I feel like you just have like this oppressed feeling, okay? But you did learn a lot. I feel like you grew, especially with this Empress card. Like, this Empress card is very beautiful energy, okay? Um, and this is, I like that it comes out underneath this Knight of Cups. Because I feel, although you feel a little bit beaten down, you're you're coming back into yourself, right? You're coming back into this beautiful energy, right? Um, and I also feel like you grew, right? The Empress um, is perpetually pregnant, in tarot, okay? That speaks to her ability to create life, nurture it, um, her abundance, that kind of thing. So I do feel like you grew, and I feel like this taught you a lot of lessons about yourself, okay? And I think it's prompting you to make some changes, okay? I think you are working on yourself, your relationships with others. You may be working, um, like, at an actual job, but I feel like you are, you're doing some, some heavy lifting in terms of learning some lessons and moving forward, right? This could be about a marriage or relationship, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands here, right? Both cards of a marriage. But I also feel like this is you um, kind of reclaiming your balance, reclaiming your power, reclaiming, um, just, just reclaiming, because I feel like this... This situation was a really difficult one for you, right? We've got, we see, I mean, we've got two cards of, of the devil, of Capricorn, of you. And, you know, this could have been something that resulted from just a bad decision, poor judgment, right? We all do it, okay? In fact, 99% of the things that happen to us that are terrible are a direct result of a, a mistake that we made, right? But that also teaches us a lesson. We learn. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we that's how we can come into um, better versions of ourselves. It's how we ascend, how we vibrate higher, right? 
and also how we go forward and can teach people. Okay. We see teach here twice. So I feel like this could have been some kind of self-inflicted, you know, situation. Okay. You made a mistake. You did, you did something, whatever it was. Okay. A wrong choice, whatever it is. And it was painful and it could have ended something. It could have ended a relationship. It could have ended a marriage. It could have ended a job. It could have ended just any kind of situation in your life. Right. Um, oof. Good night, you guys. What are you doing here? Cards are just flying all over. All right. However, justice is now being served. You've learned your lesson, okay? You've learned what you were supposed to learn. Balance is finally beginning to be restored after this all this crap that you went through, right? And, and here you are. Um, again, I, I feel like you kind of got knocked down a few notches, right? Like this made you a little more humble, right? Because we've got page, knight, king. You're, you're regaining your footing, okay? Um, I also think this is something that directly affected your happiness. I think that with this energy that I've got, I think this ten of cups, I, whatever you did directly affected your happiness and may have very well affected um, the happiness of your family or, or people around you, right? Maybe you made a poor judgment call, right? Either way, this is the universe, you know, saying, uh, hey, <laughs> time for you to learn this lesson, okay? And, and I think you are. And I think you're going to go on to um, kind of express that lesson to others in the, in the form of, Hey, you know, don't do this. This is what I do. Do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to set these over here in case I need to refer to them again. All right. So now we come over to this. Uh, we've got this queen of swords teach, which is a lot like the Hierophant, and a personal issue reaches resolution. Again, you could be dealing with, with a water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is full moon in Cancer, and we had a lot of water energy over there. Um, but I think this was a very emotional situation for you, okay? So with this teach, I think you've learned, and I think you're going to help others not make the same mistake, right? And this Queen of Wands, let me tell you, this Queen of Wands has, has this isn't her first rodeo, right? She is... Um, She's very logical, analytical, practical, strategic. She's can come off as a bit icy, but that's because she has, she's standing in her power. She loves herself. She's happy with herself. She's, um, you know, traveled this journey and is now sitting in the power of the queen and she will make the best decision for herself every time. And she will absolutely bring that sword down on anybody that tries to take away from her happiness um, or just tries to screw over. This is kind of my like, don't fuck with me or I will cut you card. All right. So in that sense, I feel like you're a little, you're a little on edge, but you've also really learned a great lesson here. Um, something that affected you personally, something that you can, will allow you to go forward with more knowledge than you had before. Um, you know, to kind of be in a higher vibration than you were before that you can, that you can speak to others, right? About your mistakes, about these things that have happened to you, um, about personal experiences that you learn from. And, and that's what, that's what bad decisions are, right? There are personal experiences that we learn from. They're meant to teach us a lesson. Okay. So this issue is, is reaching a resolution, right? You're standing in your power. You're learning your lessons. The universe is, is teaching you those lessons. And they're also telling you, do not, allow anyone to take your power away, including yourself. Okay. Reclaim your power. If you've given your power away, take it back. It's yours. It belongs to you. I don't care who you gave it to. Take it back. Okay. The universe is literally saying, stay strong, do things for the, it, for the higher good of all involved, right? Do things with positive intentions and a pure heart, but don't let anybody take your power away, right? The universe, God, spirit, source, divine, Whatever you subscribe to gave you that power. It's yours. It belongs to you. Reclaim it. Take it. It's yours. Okay. So let's dive into the tarot and see what we can find out. Um, well, I want to wait till I get some cards here. God, right away. Okay. So we've got the king of swords and the three of pentacles again. Okay. We had the three of pentacles before. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else we can get. This King of Swords is, um, you know, it could be involving um, an air sign. It could be involving just um, a couple. This could have been a marriage. This could have been, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. And this could just be duplicate energy. That them saying, you know, let this be a lesson to you. Vibrate higher. Teach others. Don't, 
don't make the same mistakes, you know, again, that kind of thing. Because while the King and Queen of Swords are um, a little fierce, right, they do so um, with pure intentions and with with good thoughts and and for the for the for the best for everyone like they don't they they're not going to bring down these swords for no reason they're not going to just cut people off or cut people in half for no reason right it's going to be for a good reason so whatever decision that you made in the past that maybe hurt someone you're just not going to do that again um you're going to be pragmatic you're going to be practical. You're going to think things through before you do them. You've learned your lesson. The universe has taught you a lesson, right? And you've also reclaimed this power, okay? So let's see what else we can get here. Ace of Pentacles. So you've got a brand new beginning coming, right? We've got this Ace of Cups over here. So I love this for you. The High Priestess. Um... I feel like this is you really um, working to rebuild yourself, listening to your intuition, listening to the divine. Uh, two of Swords, kind of going within, clearing out any any external um, any external chatter, noise, whatever. Trying to make sure that you make the best decisions going forward. Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like this is below the Three of Pentacles because you are directly working on this past situation that was a bad that was a bad mistake right that may have involved some kind of um deceit um lying stealing cheating deception just whatever it was okay things that we've all done I, all of us all of us have done right and getting some healing i love that this high priestess is right above this temperance card because this is very universal energy this is um this is your higher power really um working through you to heal you not only you working on um you know working on yourself but the universe healing you and working on new things for you coming out of this stronger and healed okay i really like that for you i love that this king of swords is really going within kind of almost like in a hermit type energy but um a little more you know within the mind you know thinking about things, thinking about what you've done, putting it behind you and healing. Anytime I see water in a card, I think of healing. Okay. So you're putting the past behind you. Um, and you're trying to not make that same mistake again. Okay. I feel like you're staying guarded, but you're guarding yourself so that you don't hurt anyone or yourself so that you don't make that same mistake again, really working on that past, whatever that was that you did, that was a bad, bad mistake or poor judgment or whatever it was. Okay. Those are, are put in our lives our lives to teach us a lesson. We all go through it, every single one of us. And if you say you've never done anything sketchy, then you're lying. I, you're just lying. You're doing something sketchy. <laughs> but this is the universe coming in to heal you, to help you, to communicate with you, to make you a stronger, a better, higher vibrating version of yourself, right? And I love that for you. Um, you know, er, you earth signs can be very grounded and a little stubborn, right? So I do love that you're represented here as working on your shit. Okay, you're working on your shit. That's what those lessons are meant to teach us. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, right? So you you do have, um, after this rocky past, right? We've got these mountains back here. After this rocky past, you kind of have, have come out of it. And you've got this new beginning coming. Oh, wow. Okay, so some of my cards are upside down. I don't read reversals. I'm not going to deal with that, okay? I had these at an event yesterday, so that's why. But you do have some happiness coming in, some clarity, um, some light coming in to shine on some of this, this crap that's gone on so that you can see the silver lining. You can see the lessons that it was meant to teach you. Um, after there was, you know, I feel like this is you having remorse for the past, for maybe some things that you did, right? Working to rebuild yourself. We've got the three of pentacles. All right. I like, I like this kind of math, guys. We've got the three of pentacles, right? We've got the ace of pentacles. We've got the four of pentacles. You are working on your stability. You've, you've been given a new opportunity and you're working on it. And, and I love that energy for you. I think that that is um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? So, like I said, I had these at an event the other day, yesterday. So that's why some of the cards are upside down. I don't read reversals. I don't know why, I just don't. So, should you... Uh, take spirit's advice, right? Should you, um, 
learn from your mistakes, right? Listen, listen to the lessons that the universe is trying to teach you. Um, go forward trying to be a better person, reclaiming your power. Um, it looks like you've got something beautiful coming in. I feel like you're going to have this ability to surrender to the, the divine a little bit better. You're not going to be so stubborn and so grounded all the time, right? You're really working on that spiritual connection. We saw that with with the high priestess and the temperance, right? And this is you learning from those mistakes, right? And the universe saying, just sometimes, if you need to give it to me, give it to me. Because if it's too big for you and you're worried you're going to screw it up, just talk to me. I'm here to help you, okay? Breathe in. Breathe me in, okay? I am your, I am your life energy, right? Surrender your issues to me. Love yourself and you'll have this new beginning in love. We also have that Ace of Pentacles over there too. So I love all of these cards for you guys, right? There's actually really not very many messages that I don't love, okay? So let's see what we've got as far as um, tarot messages for this potential outcome. Should you take Spirit's advice here, right? Which, why wouldn't you? Okay, so let's see what we can find out for my Capricorns. So we've got the Chariot. We've got the Five of Wands. We've got the Six of Cups. You want to close the door for me? I did not take your dog out because she wouldn't come out of the bedroom. So I'll take her out. I got okay. her new heat today. Cool. Okay, so the chariot, the five of wands, the six of cups. Let's see what else we can get here, guys. Got Phoebe in or out? No. I don't want her in here. Okay. We've got strength, bottom of the deck. I like that for you. That was my sister. You know, sometimes you just have to deal with the day-to-day -day running of things, right? Ace of Pentacles, there it is, showing up in your future, <laughs> changing everything, right? So strength, bottom of the deck, that's beautiful energy. So it looks like to me, you guys have had this, this, this moment. You have finally decided to um, just kind of let go and let God, right? And I think you're moving towards um, mental clarity, towards victory, towards regaining your balance after this kind of crappy situation. And you are heading right for some change, okay? The Five of Wands is conflict. It can be kind of that, um, it can be sort of a creative conflict, right? But whatever it is, it's you moving towards change, rapid change, bringing you in beautiful things. Maybe bringing you in a soulmate or maybe bringing you in a past life soulmate or bringing you, ha could have to do with children. Um, this, tar this card just talks about, you know, having fond memories, nostalgia, right? Um, maybe you're just looking at things a little bit differently. Whatever the case, I feel like it's, it's, it's really beautiful energy for you. Um, and here we have the Page of Cups. I feel like this is somebody communicating with you. I don't know if I'll stay shut, Lena. It may not. <laughs> I feel like this is somebody communicating with you after this, after they know you've had a hard time. And this could even be within a relationship, right? You know, and you're finally starting to open up and, and talk about it. Okay, sorry. I had to pause that because we had some issues. Okay, so anyway. This could be a person um, from your past even communicating with you, wanting a restart, wanting um, a new start, right? After whatever all of this was. Again, and then this doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic situation. It can just be anyone or any situation from your past, right? Um, but there's some communi communication coming in about um, a new beginning, right? And I feel like it's coming in after all of this, which was a tower moment, but I also feel like it's bringing another tower moment with it. And by that, I mean something that's really going to shake things up in your world, right? But I don't feel like it's anything bad. I feel like it's just major change, right? We, we see some warning, like some foreboding of it here, right? 
And um, I think you've just got a lot of stuff coming in, right? So let's find out. So we've got strength, right? This is this is just the universe giving you the strength, the courage, the patience to withstand these changes. Maybe you've learned some things from it, but you're also staying you're staying grounded, but you're also staying connected to spirit, okay? And here's that here's that you know that communication or that offer or that information coming in to you about something new, a brand new beginning. We've got the Ace of Cups, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, and we've got the Ace of Swords. Um, and I think it's going to help you, help heal you from your past. And now we have the Ace of Wands. Guys, You have whatever this is that you have coming in is beautiful. It is big change, okay? It's big change. Fives are change. Fives are uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable, right? But I feel like it's not anything you can't handle. I feel like it's something really beautiful. And I also, you know, I mean, gosh, guys, you've got the Ace of Cups, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. If that's not a tower moment, I don't know what is. Okay, but I feel like it's I feel like it's something good, right? I feel like you're gonna be ending um conflict, you're gonna be ending old ways of doing things and walking away from things that no longer serve you, and you're also gonna be surrendering to the divine. They're gonna help you through all of this, and that's beautiful energy. So I think this is all good stuff for you guys. That's what I have for you for October. I will be um, uploading some love readings also, so stay tuned for that. Um, all of my personal information is in the description box below if you want to book a reading, if you want to send me an email, if you want to look at my Facebook, all that kind of stuff. And in the meantime, I want you guys to stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I want you all back next month, okay?